Mighty Max Sabbath. My first question for you um, about Max Sabbath is kind of like, do you know their story of how they got started? <laughs> well, I know uh, the story of how I got started with them. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, I do. Uh, it's, it's, it's long. How long? <laughs> how long do we have? <laughs> um, I had my own like oddities shop, kind of like a freak show museum in East Hollywood, California, called the Rosemary's Billy Goat Auditorium, ODD, um, and my namesake, Mike Odd. Like, oh, Mike Odd. And uh, so what happens there when you uh, entrench yourself in oddities and odd, weird kind of follows you around. And so I would, whether I wanted to or not anymore, I'd get these calls, you know, asking me to come and investigate strange things and like trying to get people to sell me things and get me involved in their weirdness. So, uh, you know, you get these guys to call you up, come and take a look at my two headed otter skeleton out in my shed and kind of, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I get these calls and it just didn't phase me anymore. So, Oh, come out to this, you know, burger franchise in Chatsworth and check out this, uh, you gotta come down. It's going to change your life. And I figured it would be, you know, like the Virgin Mary toasted onto a hamburger bun or something like that. And uh, and when I got there, it was just these guys had kind of trapped me into this weird thing where uh, it was all about they had this kind of secret fight club basement thing going on underneath this burger franchise that shall remain nameless. And, uh, and uh, there were these mutated mascots playing these black sabbath songs and screaming about gmos and monsanto and it was kind of the most amazing and hilarious thing that had ever happened and then they and they said well we want you know we only do these secret shows and we're talking about bringing it above ground we want you to help us and be the the uh our manager and i thought i was like on some hidden camera show or being <laughs> punked or something you know and uh <laughs> i turned out they had they had seen some things that i had written in the press about uh about uh black sabbath and about uh fast food or something and just like decided that i would be the person and you know i had my own uh, rock band that i had booked shows for in, in los angeles and stuff and so I, I, it just started there. And then they, they wanted to be uh, anonymous, which I didn't understand at first. And now I am totally understand it and I'm comfortable with it, but it's still hard to explain. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you said no one's allowed kind of in those places. I assume that you are. Are you the exception to that? Do you get to see, like them backstage unfortunately you yes. do yes yeah. so do you know <laughs> you know more about them than probably anyone i know else. more about them than i would want okay. to okay <laughs> okay so and this next question we got to see the video of them when ozzy osbourne went mm -hmm. and saw them perform so were you there for that like how did that come about no that was done beyond my back okay oh my goodness <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> but uh, later on, I did end up talking with those people and kind of putting it all together and get, getting the YouTube thing going when, and uh, with the uh, Rolling Stone and all that. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, Ronald is tricky, and he likes to sort of play tricks on me and, and, and get things going and then surprise me. And so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it was a surprise for you, but I'm sure that was like a good, a good press moment for you all. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black Sabbath has been very supportive since the very beginning. They they, they posted videos on YouTube and, and talked about it. And But that was that was the real surprise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then also based off, I mean, we know their lyrics kind of warn people about the perils of fast food, right? Correct. And so this one's kind of a, a sillier question from us, but we were curious to see, do you know, does the band, the band have a ban on fast food? Do they ever... A ban? Yeah. Do, do you know if they wow, like exclusively I've... don't eat fast food? Or? <laughs> that is definitely the idea. Okay. That is definitely the idea. The, the, the drive-through metal concept does not support a drive-through lifestyle. It, 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 the whole idea is to, if you delve into the lyrics, it's, it's a slow down and look at what you're eating and do research and figure it out and don't let the kind of government conspiracy control what goes into your body and look into things and in the song uh, organic funeral which is about the death of real food he mentions uh several you know chemicals and concepts and things that are that are illegal in almost every country but the u.s because of the hold that monsanto has had on the u.s and and just all these things that it, it takes a lot of research to get that serious, and when you go and see the show, it's not a, it's not a serious show. It's a very fun, silly thing, but if you want to delve into the lyrics, you can find out more about all this okay. stuff. Okay. And then my next question, do, do you have like any bands that you would consider competition for Max Sabbath? That's funny that you say that because Cattle Decapitation is playing tonight in this in in San Antonio. Oh wow! And they're they're another you know band that's really into uh, you know like uh, anti meat and stuff like that. And I I, I I wouldn't consider them competition, but I think that a lot of you know the, the heavy metal vegetarian crowd in San Antonio will be sort of split tonight. I think maybe if you were to pitch the band to someone who had never heard of them um what how would you explain kind of what their music is like I've, it's, it's been taking me about eight years to try to figure that out and I, i'm still trying to figure it out um well um the music is very similar to black sabbath honestly <laughs> and then you know the message is uh is uh different so um yeah, you know, it's uh, like you said, it's like, you know, Ronald is warning the worlds of the evils of fast food and using the music of Black Sabbath to do it, you know, but it's but it's more than that. It's a whole this show isn't like any other band because it's it's a uh, it's almost like bringing back Broadway. You know, it's a theatrical show, play, comedy act, magic show uh I don't know what else. Uh, audience interaction. It it has like a beginning, a middle, an end. It has an arc. It's like it's not something that you can really just experience. Uh, you know, people try to experience on YouTube or something, but it's something that you kind of got to see from beginning to end, and then it changes every time. Just in case you want to share anything else with anyone watching. <laughs> well, um, we're coming to the end of this tour, and um, the things that we have coming up are are. are uh, Multiple cruises. We're going on a couple cruises. Uh, we're playing the Monsters of Rock cruise, and we're playing the Coheed and Cambria cruise. And uh, we are. Uh, what else are we doing? We have a uh, this tour that we're on is the pop-up drive-through tour because it's the world's first uh, pop-up book heavy metal uh, drive-through uh, fast food album. So uh, you know, uh, there that is a very strange thing that we that we put together, and um, I wondered why was there never a pop up book album? Why would a record company not do that? And then I found every single reason why they wouldn't do that. So that's it. We made a few of them, and it's over. It will never happen again. So if you're interested in being part of uh, Drive Through Metal uh, pop up history, you need to to go to the uh, Max Sabbath place and check that out. All right. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, and I think that's it from us. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Odd, the manager of Mac Sabbath. 
and you're listening to 91.7 FM KRTU San Antonio.